Hi, my name is Brian. And I'm Yishuan. And, and we, we built, built Clima. Clima is an app to gamify reductions in carbon emissions. Users can complete tasks, level up their pet, and compete with friends. Now on to the app demo. So this is the home screen. This is the first screen that users would see when they open the app. So there's two parts to the home screen. The first part is the weekly tracker at the top. As you can see, any days that I don't complete a task, I receive an X. And any days I do complete a task, I receive a check mark. As today, I haven't logged any tasks or completed any tasks. I don't have a check mark or an X. The second part of this is the save tasks or the habits component. On this one, users can go ahead and save a task. In this case, since this task is saved, I can unsave it and it will go ahead and be unsaved from this list. So this is kind of meant for tasks that you complete on a regular basis, such as biking instead of driving to work or perhaps recycling water bottles. If I go ahead and complete a task, I am transported to the complete tasks screen. As you can see, my XP going up and also my carbon reductions, waste removed, and water saved. And now you can see that I have one actions logged and I receive my check mark for the day. So on the all activities screen, we can browse our tasks by category. And if I click on reduce waste, for example, we can see a list of tasks relating to it. And if we click on recycle bottles, we can see a nice description, some statistics, and then I can now save this task and it'll be saved to my home screen. So if I come back here and scroll all the way down, you can see there it appears. And when we come back to the task, we can also adjust the number of bottles we recycle and the stats will adjust correspondingly. And when you pick the right number, we can now complete the task and we'll be sent to the task completion screen where we can see all our stats updated. Now on to the path page. On our path page, you can see that we have a list of preset paths that the user can take. For example, on the first steps path page, you can see that I've already completed these activities, but if I go ahead and go over to our reduced waste, I've only completed one of them. The path page is a way to structure your reductions in carbon emissions. You can see different paths, and this kind of gets a user over the hump of starting to help the environment. If I click on the learn more tab, you can see that I have other resources I can go to to learn more about how to reduce my carbon emissions. Also, if I go ahead and complete one of the tasks here, you can see that not only is my data updated, but I also now have two of three activities completed. On the pet page, users can see their pet. Currently, since I have quite a bit of XP, I'm a tree, but you start as a leaf and you evolve into a sapling and later into a tree and finally there's a bigger tree but you can also see your pet's mood. And your pet's mood will go down over time as you don't complete tasks. So users are incentivized to continue completing tasks and helping the environment so that way their pet doesn't become sad. You can also see them pretty close to leveling up um, and you can get XP by completing tasks. I could also change my pet's tree name if I wanted to. And I can also head over to my profile page and see all my lifetime stats here. As you can see, I've removed 15.5 thousand kilograms of CO2, which is down 768% from last month. Last month I did a lot. Um, you can also see waste removed and water saved. There's also a bunch of graphs, uh, CO2 removed over time, waste saved over time, and also water saved over time. Uh, as you can see, my all of my stats are down drastically from last month. And below that, there's a nice calendar where you can see which days you completed tasks and which days you didn't in this month. On to the leaderboard page. On this page, you can go ahead and compete with your friends. This provides some extrinsic motivation for doing good. I can also go ahead and add more friends by going to the add more friends screen and go ahead and I can copy my friend code. I could go share it with a friend. I could also click share your friend code and message them. Um, but to add someone to your friend list, all you have to do is add their friend code here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new account and we're gonna add their friend code to this so we can see, their, so we can see them pop up on the leaderboard page. I'm going to go ahead and log out. So we're on the sign up page right now. I can also go ahead and log in if I already have an existing account. I can also go ahead and reset my password if I forgot my password. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a new account. So I'll call 
myself Brian too. I'll do some random email. It does have to be a valid email, but in this case it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. As you can see, I'm taken to this page that we already have some preset habits um, that I can unsave if I don't like. Again, already. I can unsave if I don't like. Um, but more importantly, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my add more friends. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my friend code. And I'm gonna go log into my old account and add this friend. If I go ahead and paste in someone's friend code and hit send, you can see that it says, good to have friends, your friend has been added. And if I go over to the leaderboard page, that friend from that account we just created is now added. Our goal for this app was to make reducing carbon emissions fun and also allow users to measure their impact. We had a great time with this challenge and thank you so much for listening.